Hi everyone and welcome back to SFS Kids. I'm Richard and it's brilliant, wonderful to have you with us today. Well, how was it? Did you have a good Christmas? Did you stay in bed until really, really late on Christmas morning? And did you remember to say happy birthday Jesus when you woke up? I hope so. I do hope also that you got some really good presents. And I hope that you enjoyed watching other people open their presents as well, because that's fun. But all the excitement is over now. Don't worry, though. We've got loads of fun lined up for you in SFS Kids. We've got Nat and the gang, as usual, and they've got the last episode of their nativity uh, coming up today. But right now, it's song time once again, so get ready to sing a Christmas favourite. A favourite of mine, anyway. It was on a starry night. It was on a starry night When the hills were bright Earthly sleeping Sleeping calm and still Then in a cattle shed In a manger bed A boy was born King of all the world Okay, it's virtual Sunday school time. Today's the final part of the nativity story. Today we've got the visit of the wise men who came a little later than the shepherds and we've got a rather sneaky King Herod. So make yourselves comfortable, tell your mum to turn the music down and get ready for virtual Sunday school. Over to you, Nat. Today we're going to look at the final part of the nativity story. So we'll look at a Bible story, a craft, prayer and then finish with a final thought. So grab your drink and a festive biscuit and let's do this. When you're stuck at home with time to spare, 
can't go outside, you're not going anywhere. Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a stool? Tune into virtual Sunday school. We have a craft to do and a story or two. Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too. Why not tune in to virtual Sunday school? can be found in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, right at the start. So, Mary and Joseph are in a stable and some angels have visited some shepherds to tell them to go and visit the baby Jesus. And here is where we will pick up the story again. And we're telling it in rhyme with some help from our friends. So it was in a stable Mary birthed God's son, the King of Kings, our saviour, God's salvation plan begun. Far in the east, some scholars saw a new bright shining star. These wise men set out to find a king, a journey very far. On their way, they stopped off at King Herod's palace. But King Herod was a jealous man filled with hate and malice. Herod was in charge. Who was this newborn king? When you find him, let me know so I can worship him. When they finally found Jesus, they brought gold, frankincense and myrrh. Three fancy gifts lay on the stable floor between the hay and fur. The wise and the learned put aside all rankings, bowing down before a babe who was the king of kings. A humble babe in a manger laid, adored by rich and poor, the simple and the complex. One day, the kind of people he'd die for. But for now, let's remember that little child the child on the hay, the star of Jesus' gospel good news that we celebrate on Christmas Day. Oh, and don't worry about Herod, he's no cause for concern. Gabriel popped up to tell the wise men to avoid him on their return. Craft time, craft time. Wait a minute! No, 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 no. No craft time today. Wait, what? I've got a better idea. Instead, let's have a virtual Sunday school fancy dress competition. Just in time for Christmas. This week, we want you to dress up as your favorite nativity character and send us a photo. You could be a shepherd or a wise man or Mary or Joseph or an angel or King Herod. Whatever you want, be creative. For today's prayers, we're going to thank God for the entire nativity story and that he sent his son so that we can have a relationship with him. Thank you for the nativity story. And thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, as a baby to ultimately die on the cross so that we could have a relationship with you. Thank you that we can celebrate Christmas and please help you be filled with joy this year, whatever it might look like. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And so, a final thought. God not only told lowly shepherds to visit baby Jesus, but he also told wise men, two very different groups of people. The wealthy and the poor, the fancy and the scruffy, the wise and the... Well, I don't want to say that shepherds aren't clever, but I don't think you need a PhD to look after sheep. Jesus welcomes all sorts of people even people like you. I hope you enjoyed that. That's the end of the nativity story for this year and it will soon be the end of Christmas and then we're into New Year. But remember, God's gift of Jesus is for all of us, for all the year round, not just for Christmas. So let's sing our special Christmas song for one last time. A few weeks ago, I didn't even know this song, but I'm really loving it now and I hope that you do too. It's called all the angels sing. All the angels sing, the angels sing that, Christ has come that Christ has come to a manger bear. Mary laid him there. Oh. Come and fill the sky. With shouts of praise, lift your voice with me and sing, 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 sing. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us. It's the true meaning of Christmas. Jesus has come and changed life. Changed our lives forever. Oh, 
angels sing. Of angels sing. The Christ has come. The Christ has come. To a world in need. To a world in Good news indeed. Yeah. Love wrapped as a baby. Right, that's it for this week and indeed for this year from SFS Kids. Don't forget to check out Virtual Sunday School on YouTube and make sure you subscribe for SFS Kids videos too. So for the very last time, are you ready to say the grace together? So come on, on your feet because this has actions and we must do it together. Are you ready? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Wonderful. So the next SFS Kids will be next year, next week. We'll see you then. Happy New Year. God bless. Bye.